Hey, what's up? Jigzer here. Are you tired of forgetting important tasks or appointments and want to streamline your to-do list and boost your productivity? In this video, I'll show you how to use Apple Reminders effectively using these tips and tricks. Let's go. Make sure your reminders are synced across all your Apple devices. To do this, head to the Settings app, tap your name, then select iCloud. Make sure the Reminders toggle is turned on. This way you'll have access to your to-do list on your iPhone, iPad, Mac, or even your Apple Watch, ensuring you never miss a task. To create a reminder, open the app, click New Reminder, and fill out the reminder form by adding title and notes. After that, tap the calendar button to schedule when and how often you want to be alerted of the reminder. Choose from today, tomorrow, this weekend, or tap date and time to set your own day and time. The app will send you a push notification at the time of the reminder. Tap the location button to assign a notification based on your location. Select one of the options provided, or tap custom to add your location, Choose whether you want to be notified when arriving or leaving, and set the perimeter of your reminder area. When you use this feature, make sure that Location Services is turned on. To do this, open the device Settings. Go to Privacy and Security. Then tap Location Services and turn it on. To continue setting up the reminder, tap the Tag button to add a tag. It lets you quickly and automatically organize reminders based on keywords. The flag button also marks a reminder as extra important and makes it appear in the flagged smart list on the Reminders app main screen. You can also add an attachment by clicking the camera button. You can take a new photo, choose an image from your photo library, or scan a document or a text. Once done with all the input, tap Add. If you want to set a reminder that will trigger when you message someone from your contact list, tap New Reminder and add the notification title. Click Details to edit and turn on when messaging. Tap the Choose Person. Select a name in your contacts, then click Add when you're done. The next time you chat with this person in messages, a reminders notification appears. Reminders can have subtasks to help you organize smaller steps within a larger task. For example, buying a cookie can be a subtask under a Things to Buy reminder. To create subtasks, touch and hold a reminder, then drag it onto another reminder. Another way, swipe right on a reminder, then tap Indent. Or tap a reminder, then click the Info button, find subtasks, and tap Add Reminder. New reminders go to your default list, usually called Reminders, because it organizes your tasks into lists. You can create new lists for specific things like grocery shopping or books to read to group similar tasks together. Tap the Add List icon in the bottom right corner to create a new list and customize it by adding color and icons. Once done, you can already place all your created tasks in the list. There's also a special type of list called a smart list. It automatically gathers reminders from all your lists based on rules you set such as due dates, overdue status, or location. This helps you filter and focus on specific reminders without manually searching. To set up, click the Add List button at the bottom to create a new list. Name your list, for example, Aaron's, and customize it. Tap the List Type and choose Smart List. Now you can customize your smart list by applying filters based on tags, dates, times, location, flags, and priority. Choose one or more filters that match your criteria, like for example, specifying a location. Finally, tap Done to save your customized smart list. Okay, if I've been able to help you, I'd appreciate a thumbs up and a subscription. If something didn't work out and you're stuck, check the comments. Maybe someone has solved the problem. Otherwise, I can try and help you further. I offer personal support on Fiverr and can give you independent advice. 
I also offer many other services. Feel free to check them out. You'll find the link in the video description. Until next time, bye.